Hello everyone. I'm here for the follow-up to the Diesel On Guard 2.5. Um, so far I've had it for about three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, three weeks. Less than a month, but almost a month. Um, it's a watch again, if you saw my last video, I wanted to get a few years back and I couldn't justify the price at $325. So now it was on sale for $125 off, free shipping. Let me take off this hat. It's ridiculously hot. <laughs> Nothing has come out in terms of um, Android Wear where I've wanted it. So I went back again to this watch because I just really like the design. The design of the case, the industrial look of the lugs and, and just how it looks. I like the color. I actually kind of had a little bit of difficulty uh, trying to figure out which color I wanted. They had a gunmetal. And then I thought gunmetal is kind of overdone. And then they had sort of a black and red one, but it was a little bit too sporty. And I wanted something that was just subtle, but also kind of classy and simple. Um, so I decided to go for just the silver and black watch. Because again, I could put on a wacky band if I wanted to change the color up. Um, the watch has been fantastic. It took me a little while to figure out exactly um, what settings I wanted. The Tick Watch was the only other Android watch that I've used. I had that one for a little bit longer, uh, close to half a year probably, six months or so. Uh, and that watch had two screens, the AMOLED screen and the thin uh, LCD screen on the top. So it had a version of always on, um, and I did try to use always on with the AMOLED, and that killed the battery right away. But I was always able to get about a day and a half um, comfortably, even though I charged it all the time. So with this watch, I was watching, um, I put on the, the always on display, and I watched the battery life literally dip percentage by percentage. I don't have to have back on. <laughs> um, I had the always on display, and I watched the battery just fall, and I thought I had a dud uh, because it was sitting on the shelf for a while. It's you know two years old at this point, a little bit over that, and I thought the battery was no good, but that's kind of irrational because things sit on shelves for years and the batteries are just fine. So I had to tweak it a little bit. Um, I turned off the tilt to wake uh, that's a big one because as you can see, this watch and, and all the Android Wear, they have two different modes for always on, and that is full AMOLED screen on, and then they have like a darker dimmed version of the same, or silhouette version of the same dial. Um, so I turned off the tilt to wake and that actually solved my battery life. But I had one issue. Every time I charged the watch, all my settings would reset. Um, one big thing, uh, being a minimalist, is uh, I, I don't really add a lot of apps and I don't really want to complicate my life. I just want to be able to kind of put this down um, on the wireless charger. It doesn't have wireless charging, but I have one that plugs in uh, and it charges my Pixel Buds, it charges my phone, and it charges the watch and it's all on a nightstand all together. I don't need a bunch of different cords or anything. Um, so that simplicity, I it transfers over into the watch. I don't add apps. I don't want like a face make or anything like that. I was trying to figure out the, the settings. So I made a couple of faces. The settings didn't work out. I reset the watch, which is a pain. I had to do that with the Tick Watch maybe four times. Uh, but with this watch, luckily, I only had to do it the once. And now my settings stick. So the settings that I use are tilt to wake off, touch on, right? And then I have always on display. And I get about two days of battery life. You can see that screenshot somewhere here. Um, two days of battery life on this watch, which I did not expect. And I have my notifications on. Um, I do have the music uh, that plays on my phone or that I'm streaming. It shows up on the watch. Um, I haven't taken any phone calls or anything like that. I did that on the Tick Watch a couple of times, but I have the Pixel Buds and there's no point in me talking into my watch. It's a handy feature. I'm sure I'll, I'll use it eventually at one point, but I don't need it. Um, but this watch has been great. I leave my phone at my desk. I don't really walk around with it. Um, I can quickly answer um, text messages and I can see who's calling me and I can see if I need to go back to my desk to answer an email. That's super simple because the watch is is awesome. It's not the fastest watch. It has the old generation processor, the um, the 2100 uh, chip, so it doesn't run that fast. It doesn't really have a lot of storage. Again, I'm not storing anything on there. I'm traveling pretty pretty light. I just wanted a watch that I don't have to wind every day because, as you know, I use the Glycine Combat Sub for the last year or so. And it's been great, but it's a daily wear. And I'm not gonna, again, add to the collection and get a winder or try to keep it moving. 
I, I, I just want something that I could throw on, kind of fits with anything that I'm wearing, and it's comfortable. The fitness is really the, the reason that I purchased it. So it keeps track of my heart rate, keeps track of my steps, my you know the, the goals that I have um, for just daily activity. And that's really it. I, I don't need fancy GPS or turn by turn direction. That's all on there. Do you want a phone or a watch with battery life that works well and does the basics well? Or do you want something that basically does everything that your phone does, but you know, you just wear it on your wrist and you hold your phone in your hand anyway. <laughs> what do you want to do? At $200, I think it's worth the price. Um, even after seeing the new ones, the on axle, um, I just really like this design better and the screen is nice. E everything just feels premium. It charges on a little magnetic clip charger so you don't actually have to plug it into anything which is awesome. So I guess that's it, right? This is the video. Um, I just wanted to get it out quickly to you guys because uh, I got a couple of requests for a follow up and I did not forget, even though I, I didn't know I needed to charge it when I first did the unboxing, it actually just needed to just tap the charger and it started up right away. So anyway, tell me uh, if you guys are gonna buy it. Tell me if there's something else I should be looking at um, in terms of Wear OS. Uh, I have a Pixel phone and I'm, I'm all Google. So if it doesn't work well, if it doesn't sync up, uh, don't bother saying anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, stay tuned for the next video where we are gonna be talking about some business stuff. If you haven't seen the stuff that's happening on the channel, or on our website, all the links are in the description. Check it out. Thanks for watching.